And it, it, it seems stra- strange to me now that after, after my second Good Edinburgh in 2007, TV companies were very interested in doing stuff with me. And the only thing I wanted to do was a documentary about quizzing. I hadn't joined the world of quizzing at this point. To, to a documentary about quizzing and, and, and the life of Kevin Ashman. And they would say at the time, oh, everything has to be immersive now. Everything has to be immersive. We can't just do a, do an author documentary. You've got to be in it as well, taking part. And me, not realising the way my life was going to pan out, said, oh, I don't want to take part in these quizzes. I just, I just, want, to, I just want to speak to these people. So that was how I felt in 2007, yeah. how, thing, how things changed so, so dramatically and, and, to, uh, and, and in such a significant way. Yes. But, you know, but also I think you'd make a brilliant case for saying how, you know, like it's not, it isn't just about reading facts and books and learning facts, is it? It's a, it, it's about kind of experiencing the world. A, the social thing, you you know, obviously you met your husband through this as well. But, uh, but um, it's the, you know, it's, it's appreciating the facts, you're right? appreciating the art and, and watching films and going to places and seeing the stuff you, you, you're learning about. It's actually, a, it's, a, it's not as insular it's a it's a very uh, you know outgoing thing in a, in a lot of ways well i mean i think it's fair to say that not everybody looks at quiz in in such a corinthian way no. uh, and um it must be said that one of the great things about quiz is it gives an opportunity for those of us who are never any good at sport to do something in, in an excited and competitive way the, the last night i was out at the quiz league of london which is much described in the book and first thing to say is we have we now have something called PQQ or post quiz quiz where everybody goes where everybody goes to the same pub and discusses the, the questions and, and, and has a drink and looking around uh, last night the scene is unrecognizable from that rather dull gray gray suited one that I joined back in 2008 it's it's genuinely vibrant and young and diverse and there's lots of women. There's lots of L- you know. I was the only LGBT quizzer in in Quiz League of London when I joined, but you you, you actually need a social app to, to monitor how many of them there are now uh, in 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 the pub. It's it's a, it's a very very different and more diverse scene, and I I feel honoured to have been part of that. You know, been very much part of that transition. But the other the other thing is, yeah, a lot of people do it because they want to be they they want to win. Yes. They, they like they like the fact that they're in a team that play matches every week, and you know they, they they're not good at five aside football or, or or village cricket. I mean, I'd love to be a village cricketer. The idea the idea of playing cricket every Sunday afternoon fills me with great joy, but I was te- always terrible at sport. And so, it, 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 as well as it being nice to learn about the world, it is nice to compete against other uh, against other people as well, and have yeah. people respect you for your ability to 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 win something.